Okay, now Amber, we are going to watch a video from Khan Academy, California Academy of, what was it, Science. Yes. Okay, now this is the video, is at least four minutes. Now let's listen. Oh, I beautiful ending. I mean, starting. <laughs> the science of measuring ecosystem diversity is still... Let's stop right now. What is an ecosystem? Do you know what's an ecosystem? Ecosystem is kind of like a chain of life. Yeah. And if the always the plant is the first one. No. Almost always. Sometimes, Almost always. So what example? Nutrients. So example in a rainforest, what is the ecosystem of a rainforest? <laughs> How was it? But I. I know the, what was it, oh. Hey, I think I know. Number one, soil oh. and the nutrients inside it. Number two, plants and grass. Number three, buggies that eat the plants. <laughs> Number four, birds and sometimes rats that eat the buggies. Yeah. Number five, <laughs> number five, other big predators that eat the bird and rats. And number six, other big, big, big predators that eat the big predators. Is that right? Yeah. The the top part is the most vicious predators, like sometimes like falcons and polar bears. Oh. Like okay. Now, um, can you define the meaning of biodiversity right now here? I biodiversity. Don't, I don't even Bio know. Bio means not nature, and diversity means the variety of the ecosystem. So now let's see this video and we're going to pause this through it to talk about what's in this video. Pretty young. But scientific knowledge at the ecosystem level is now recognized as a critical part of understanding total biodiversity on Earth. Defining ecosystems is hard, but we do know a distinct ecosystem when we see one. We usually describe an ecosystem in terms of a habit of habitats and ecological processes within each ecosystem. Okay, now this is the part part where we talked about biodiversity. Um, even though it's the same same concept of a habitat, it's different where the the animals such as what is this? Bulls live in live in the summer and the bugs living here live in summer. And in this case, the gazelles live in somewhere, the meerkats live in somewhere, the ostrich live in somewhere. The ostrich does not have a head. <laughs> Sorry. Some type. Here. So, let's see. The animals all have the diversity of where they live and what they eat, uh, where they sleep, like us. I'm a Korean, you too, because our, Korea, our Korean family is all the generation way up to our great 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 grandfather and grandmother. So, let's see. We are Korea. We're living in downtown. And, um, for example, there are other people in such as America, Russia, and everybody. We have a diversity of where we live. But in this case, because it's ecosystem biodiversity, bio means nature, so that it explains how north american and grasslands airy grasslands have these kind of animals and african savannas have these kind of animals is that clear i think it gets okay i understand <laughs> i don't know why she does that <laughs> sorry <laughs> i used too much voices but i thought she didn't understand because she said i like meerkats <laughs> So funny. <laughs> you can have similar looking ecosystems that have very different makeups. The very name of an makeups. ecosystem doesn't automatically imply that all the species in that ecosystem are the same everywhere in the world. High diversity among types of ecosystems means that there will also be a high diversity of species themselves. Each species is specialized to a place. As I said before, every animal has a different habitat and different things that they eat so that they are adapted to the ecosystem that they are included in, such as the bugs. Mm, what about fire ants? 
they sometimes live in rainforests, right? So the fire ants are adapted to their ecosystem, their habitat. They live in, whoa, what the, what do you call that? Uh, ground burrows somewhere, yeah. somewhere in like ant houses. So they live in there and they are adapted to that, to that ecosystem, to that habitat for generations and generations and generations, right? Um, you know, can you talk about how a human adapted in an ecosystem? It's the same way as the animals. Yeah. Human is adapted to ecosystem. They oh, oh, um, I think you don't understand. I'll give you a particular type of humans. Okay. For example, black uh, Africans. How did African people survive or exist in that circumstance? Where they are poor, hot, and everything. They hunt animals? No. That's not possible. Hey, but that is possible. Yeah. Because they are, they are contributed by the Indians of where they live. But what I was trying to talk about to you is that black Africans and the Africans living in African countries are used to that situation, that circumstance, because they have lived in that circumstance for generations and generations. So when the time goes by, the generation talks about how to survive to another generation. And that generation goes through the story. So that's how they, within the types of the ecosystem, they are diverse with how they survive. Okay. Do Can we go on now? What? Can we go on now? Yeah, but I have something to You said about the fire ants, and the fire ants, and in the rainforest, there's also ant eaters, which eats fire ants. But surely, fire ants could bite the ant eater's tongue. Yeah, then the ant eater, I mean, the we'll ant slurp them in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go on now. Yeah. Okay. Most people are familiar with ecosystems in terms of where they are, that is, in terms of ecosystem distributions. Um, a tropical reef in the Philippines will still be a coral reef, but in terms of species composition could be very, very different from a reef in the Caribbean. Organisms making up a Philippine reef might be similar to and do the same jobs as those in a Caribbean reef, but they will be different species, sometimes very distantly related species at that. In other words, the ecosystem functions performed by these different reef organisms will be the same in spite of how different the lists of species from each reef might be. And in turn, the ecosystem functions will be similar, but the species will be... It's a place where, like, a lot of, a lot of species of animals that we don't even know. Yeah, in Madagascar, animals in Madagascar don't exist anywhere else. Yeah, they just like adapted in that in this place circumstance. But like this, Australia's place here, it has a circumstance same with Madagascar here. But it has different species. Yep. Why? Because they are the much different different places, and also. Mm -hmm. Everywhere there's different animals. It's like they're all they have all different weather, and they all of the animals there are adapted to that place. So they, if they go to other places, they can't be that adapted. Yeah, adapted. But I have a question. Australia and Madagascar have the same circumstances. Yeah. Okay, let's go at least 30 seconds before. See? But they will be different species. Sometimes very distantly related species. Different species doing the same job. So in, um, for instance, Madagascar had uh, a fish and it is, for instance, is called the blue jay feathered fish. Huh? <laughs> I made it up because I don't know any species from Madagascar. So the blue jay feathered fish 
has a has a role as eating eating the scorns like um the bad species in the ground of the ocean and in australia there is a same thing like the yellow what what about the yellow cuttlefish the cuttlefish eats the bad things in the ground too however they are absolutely the same species different species so even though they are different species they do the same job uh, and that's how they can maintain the ecosystem in diversity mm-hmm. can you think of an example of different species doing the same job uh, it's quite hard you can make it up if the species is related to the circumstance that you are talking about oh i have another one what about dokdo yeah. our treasured island and hawaii yeah they are really rich with they're rich with a lot of marine ecosystem oh, marine yeah so for instance dokdo has all these fish like we use the fish in our daily meals too yeah. so this fish is used as meal for humans yeah. so what does hawaii do hawaii also have a lot of fish because they are actually in the beach side yeah but in hawaii more than fish there are a lot of tropical fruits what does a tropical fruit do they go inside our body yeah that's the same reason fish get eaten fruits get eaten same thing but the her species do the same job they and make people full i want to eat fish and fruits too <laughs> I I actually want to eat apple mango. Remember it in What Hi. was that? Hang on. Yeah. Oh, anyways, let's move on. <laughs> Here. Ecosystem diversity. Distinct types of ecosystem